Hey everyone out here and welcome back to a brand new Sims 4 building tips and tricks and building ideas. This time I've got for you 5 platform tips that you can use in your games and your designs to create some really awesome stuff. Right now on the screen you can see the timeline in this video so you can pick your moment to start with or to see the whole video from the beginning. So I hope you're gonna enjoy it and without further ado, let's get started. So we are gonna start off with the rounded bed. Now I do recommend for you two things. First of all, do it outside of the house that you want the bed to be inside. Don't worry, we can just copy it then inside the house. And second, do not, and I repeat, do not skip parts of the uh, tutorial specifically in this bed because it is tricky and you might end up basically ruining the whole uh, bed for you. So we're gonna start off with the rounded platform. We're gonna take one part and we're gonna trim it to the perfect rounded uh, uh, design, which is this one. Now, a lot of people do not aware of, but you can even cut this part even more. Once you're putting your crosshair on it, you can see a small triangle over here. You can cut it out and we will. So just cut it out just like this. That's perfect. Now, we're gonna take this one and copy it one time and don't, do not connect them. You're gonna place it one tile uh, separate from it, like like one tile between them must be. Now, do it again, oh, sorry, jumped. And do another one over here like so, perfect. Now, do not do, like, don't complete the fourth one because we are just gonna work on that area right now. So, I'm gonna activate the grid and I do recommend for you to do that also because there is a small tip uh, that we're gonna use with the grid itself. Now, uh, let's pick ourselves a bed. Now, I tested it with so many beds and most of them works. Like 99% of them will work. I want to take the Mod Pod Twin Slipper and turn it like so. Now, this is the important and tricky part. As you can see, it will snap to the platform area and we want to try and snap it under the area just like that. Now, if you're gonna use and hold the Alt key, you will have much more simple way to, to manipulate it and to move it. So uh, what you want to do is not to place it over here, no. We want to place it over here. Now, just to help you, you see those three tiles, one, two, and three. You want to bring the bed to the connection points. You see those one and two, this one and this one. Just to help you, I do recommend for you to take a fence, like so, uh, the smallest one, where is it? There we go. And just draw a line like that. Now you want to take the bed using the Alt key and drag it and place the bed like on top of that, uh, of that line that we just drew and make sure it's on the ground and did not like snap to the upper area. Once you've done this, and even if it's a bit over it and, and to the left side over here, it's okay, it's totally fine. That was the tricky part and the, well, one of the tricky parts, there is even more. Now we are just gonna take this area, this, this part over here, copy it, turn it one time to the right and place it like here like here, like so. If it's underneath the bed, that's perfect. You did it correctly. That's exactly what you want to get. Now, what we want to do from this point is actually to uh, fill those gaps, but there is a way to do that. It's not just uh, taking one big square and place it. It's not gonna work. Well, you're gonna take the platform tool and you're gonna like stretch it from one side to another and on one side to another, like so. Now you see that it jumped, right? It doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes it does, and that's why you don't want to do it like this. What you do want to do is to take the platform tool and stretch it from this area, which is the empty area, to that area, like so. And again, from this side to the right side, perfect. Now you have those small, uh, triangles do not just like before do not take a full triangle platform just try to place it because as you can see it will snap again to the upper area and if you go down with the platform right now it might mess the whole thing sometimes it doesn't but it might mess so if it mess uh, for you what you want to do is to take a triangle and cut it to a small size just like this now you can just take it, copy it, and rotate it one time over here. And let's fill those small gaps. 
And as you can see, all of this time, the bed is still inside the ground. It didn't like jump to the platform and that means you did it perfectly. Now is the easiest part, which is just stretch it back. Basically, we trim it to a rounded shape and look at this. What do you think about it? That's a rounded uh, a bed on a rounded platform, which is basically creating a rounded bed. Now, uh, this is the right version. And if you do it wrong, you will end up with a bed just like this on top of it. You see the difference between the beds? Now to show you that this thing is working, let's bring our sim over, go to sleep, come on, there we go, and get inside, perfect. If you did it right, this is what you're gonna end up with. More advanced uh, part is actually to bring this into your design and you're gonna do that right now. So now what you want to do is to just uh, take the whole structure and move it. You can copy it even if you don't want to just move it, if you want to create more than one in your design and move it inside to your uh, specific area. Now, sometimes it will mess the upper area, the, uh, the roof. So we just need to fix that with another part of a flat roof on top. And sometimes it won't just like here. And uh, from this point, we want to kind of fix it to, to look like a good, like, you know, a good bedroom, like a good master bedroom. And I do recommend for you only to do that on really big bedrooms because just this structure is like, as you can see, it's one, two, three, four on four tiles, which is kind of big. Now we want to get rid of those areas right here and you just need to go for the trims of those platforms uh, and let's just start shape it. So take the colors that you think are gonna fit your design the most. I want to go with something that is brownish. And just after some work, as you can see, our bedroom is ready. Our rounded bed is ready in a beautiful master bedroom. Well, kind of simple one, but really beautiful. And just to show you this is working, let's bring our sim over to go to sleep. And there you go. Functional rounded bed. Now let's move on to the next tip. So now after you know how to create the rounded uh, bed shape, let me show you how to create it. I think all the ladies here, maybe some guys even, will like this design which is a heart shape bed. Now there is a common mistake how people used to do that and I'm gonna show you it, uh, I'm gonna show you it, I'm gonna show you that really quickly. People used to do this one, like this thing, copy it and then copy this one near this one and then just, you know, go down like so to create the heart shape, right? Which is not wrong, but you will end up with really big size uh, heart shape, which we don't want to because the bed is not that big. So the right way to do that, after I show you how to create the rounded uh, uh, shaped bed, is almost exactly the same, but I'm gonna show you. You're gonna start off by creating the same thing, which is that uh, quarter of a circle, and then you're gonna copy it to the right, to the other side to create half a circle. Now, what you want to do from this point is to copy it and not place it right near it. You want to turn it one time to the right and place it that the edges will connect. You can already see the beginning of a heart shape here, right? From this point, just like we did in the rounded uh, uh, bed, we want to take off those uh, small, uh, triangle so you're gonna do that I can do that like this and we're gonna take the bed which we want to have inside I don't know why but beds like those I think should be red like for love so let's take a bad one a bad one let's take a red one and place it up until the edge almost when it's gonna hit that area over here and from this point, just like with the rounded bed, you want to just fill the whole gap. And remember, do not go with stuff like uh, uh, the square platform automatically and place it, because it might mess it. It really depends on the type of the bed, but don't, just do it manually. You're gonna try and fill the whole area with a uh, with, uh, platform. So the Bottom area is this one. We want to connect that area to this area and and basically we do it like so and we will end up with those uh, small uh, triangles. So just like before you take a triangle, cut it 
and copy it and manually you're gonna fill those gaps just like that and look at this you have a heart-shaped bed for love so basically this is how you do it you can of course now go with some colors and give it more of a love bed if you want and grab it and place it just like before in your design now again it might be messy for some people it might break the, the uh, roof you just need to fix it and from this point just go crazy and design it and decorate it the way you want it moving on so the next tip, I call it a light strip walls and let's say that you create a lovely modern house and you want to spice the, the design of it, maybe add some unique lights to the exterior of it. This method works on the interior, I think it looks better on the exterior. So what you want to do is to take the platform tool right here and stretch it from one side to another near the wall where you want that strip to, to, to be and just simple it is just to raise the platform all the way up and i would suggest to you to raise it one one step or two steps uh, up at the, up until the highest point it can get because now we want to go for lights and you can do that with base game only you don't need any packs for that because there is a perfect light for it in the base game which is where are you where are you? there you go the plank perfection wall light Let's just lower it a bit so I'll be able to uh, to play with it. And now just place it on the top area right here. Use the Alt key if you want to play with it. Hold Shift to copy it and just place it like that. All of the way from one side to the other side. Make sure they are at the edge, perfect. And this moment is basically the end. You just want to raise the platform again two times up until the moment it will cover that area and you'll end up with some really really wait a minute some really really awesome looking style lights for modern designs so this is simple yet awesome right and this is how it's gonna look at night pretty cool right move on so another thing that you can do in the game really really cool in my opinion is to create your own windows with the platform by basically taking the platform tool create let's say a first square over here another one that is a bit higher because we want them to be separated uh, from each other so we can uh, play with them another one and let's go with another one just like that and again you want them to be separated that's why I uh, place them on different levels and from this point we just want to play with them uh, let's add let's raise them like so this one I want just a bit higher this one I want to be somewhere in between this one just a little bit that is perfect now we want to just close this section with walls to the main house from this side and from that side you can of course uh, color that thing if you want uh, the only downside to this is that those Platforms are a bit hard to find trims that will go with any wall patterns But anyway after doing so what you want to do is just go and grab yourself the window that you want to use and look how Simple it is to create your own Windows they just got a new design by the border of the platforms and you can of course use uh, some other windows like those and every window that you're gonna fit in that area will get a new design new style to it using those platforms so you can really go crazy with ideas and designs for custom made windows you can go with even those small ones where are they the um the square ones where are they uh, this one you can place one over here you can place down one over here you can place one up here you can place one over here you can really go crazy and create your own custom-made uh, uh, windows with those new platforms. So uh, go crazy. I just gave you the basic and you can just do whatever you want. Let's move on to the last tip, which I think one of the coolest. Let's get to it. 
So unlike the other tips and tricks that I showed you uh, in this video, this this one you need to have few packs. You can do it as a base game only. It will just not gonna look exactly as I want it to look like because this one called the waterfall uh, fireplace. Just like you heard it, that's exactly how it's gonna look. Well, almost exactly. So let's get to it by placing a foundation on the well platforms on the ground and i'll show you two versions and uh, the first one is a bit more um squarish if if that's a thing and the second one is a strip design so we want to create as you can see i'm trying to create some sort of a up the stairs design here uh so we're gonna put the one over here another one over here another one over here another one over here perfect so this is us, basically our waterfall. This is the upper area, right? And the water goes down like that, right? And the second one is a strip design. Uh, two, and of course we need four of them, so let's just raise it. Uh, come on. One, two, and another one, and three, and one, two. Too much. <laughs> And we're gonna create those squares and there we go we're now gonna go for a uh, fireplace we're gonna take the snowy escape this one the whole lot of fireplace I hope I didn't butcher that uh, that word but now you can just scale it down and shove it inside this is some sort of a glitch with the platform right now probably it will be fixed and then we'll just need to use the two mod and we're gonna shove it down and create some sort of a flow from the upper area to the bottom so we're gonna place one over here scale this one down also and raise it to be the first one on top here we go take another one scale it down two times place it over here you see this is like a like waterfall the the fire will go down from up here to the bottom area and the another one scale it down and place it like so this one should be scaled a bit more uh, otherwise it will just stick from the upper area so we're gonna place two of them right here like that and using the alt key to free move uh, the items and we can do this now this is the tricky part. I'm doing this because I have a wizard right here, but if you want them to automatically uh, lit themselves, you need to upgrade each one of them individually with a mechanic. So remember that. I did a lot of fireplaces designs and I always say that. You need to upgrade each one of them individually with a level 10 handy guy and then you can do what I've just did. I'm just skipping this because, well, in my in my tutorials they most of them are already upgraded or i have a a wizard that can light them from uh with with a spell so from this point we want to add some uh stones and ground so i think this one is from the base game but there is some sort of a rocky i really love to use it in fireplaces where is it there we go this is the get together pack i said you need to have few packs uh in in this design we're gonna place it like so and we're gonna add you know what i want to change the color to black here maybe we'll change it at the end to i don't know uh, maybe white even but i like it black let's do that perfect and um now we want to add some more stone just to give it a bit more of a realistic design like burn down stone or something so we want to have the pack of Solani, not Solani, how do you call that? Island living. So now we're gonna look for a debug menu or debug or live edit. I think this is live edit uh, object. There we go. Those items from the live edit uh, cheat code in, la in uh, island living. You can just place them over here like so. There we go. Some of them might glitch down. Uh, some of them won't. And let's just create this look like a bit more realistic design perfect now just to show you how it's gonna look let's uh, tell our boy where is he to magic it to magic light it <laughs> from this point we want to you know do the small touches that will make it beautiful I want mm, range hood let's use the range hood 
And from this point, I really want to just like maybe add some unique to that um, to that fireplace header or, or hood or whatever it called. I want this thing. Where is it? There we go. This one. So I need the smallest one or the highest one. I think the highest one. So let's take the highest one, scale it down, bring it up. It is perfect and place it like so all around. So this is going to be a bit of work and after some times this is what you're gonna end up with and look how beautiful it is the waterfall fireplace coming from the top and going to the bottom this is the version if you do it from well literally a strip version of it and it looks great even though I do prefer the first version let me know what do you prefer the first version or this version both are very very cool especially for modern designs that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, thank you so much for watching, do not forget to smash the like button if you did, consider subscribing to the channel if you are new here and maybe watch another of my videos, I bet you're gonna enjoy them also. Until the next time, keep that things party going for me, cause RGR Gaming, signing off.